All right, last question, and then we're going to get out of here. For someone's brain that doesn't work well with documentation and better with video, what are suggestions for learning with text-only documentation? Practice. I think the potential issue is it maybe feels like video is better because of the way that it's presented. I will preface this with Fireship is awesome and extremely entertaining and deserves all 2 million of the subscribers that they have. That said, Fireship's videos, you you watch them, you feel like you learned something, but really you just got exposure. And like exposure and learning and practice are very different things. But pretty often with, with a, honestly, with a lot of video and YouTube content, you fall into this trap of like seeing the person in the video do the thing and like it makes sense. And the reason it makes sense is because they've planned it, right? They've laid it all out to be in a very specific way that will make sense to the viewer of the video. And like, that's the goal of creating content that people want to watch is it makes sense. And I think this is the other thing that happened a lot whenever I was a, an instructor at a coding school. The way that I liked to teach was with live coding and that I'm showing the examples in real time so you can actually see what I'm talking about. I'm not just like pointing to code on a slide. The thing that you could potentially take away from it watching that lesson is because you watch me do the thing and build the thing and because it it made sense when I was doing it it feels almost like oh yeah I can go home and do that but the issue is when you go home to try and do it on your own and you don't have the instructor up there doing the exact things there's so many things that you potentially missed that like you didn't see the instructor do or that like weren't mentioned that you have to actually learn yourself and like figure out yourself and so what point am I trying to make here sometimes video feels like it makes more sense but that's just because of the way that it's laid out. Ultimately, like if you do not get good at reading through documentation and also like th there are certain skills you can acquire that make it easier to work well with text documentation, which is things like skimming the documentation, searching for specific keywords. I, I don't ever read all of the documentation. Yeah, no, it, it, exactly, Tyrell. And I think that's kind of what I'm getting at right now. It's like documentation typically tells you these are all of the things that are available but it doesn't assemble them into an app for you, right? Like it doesn't tell you like, well, do this, do this, do this, and then you're done. Uh, some documentation does, but that's more of like the tutorial or getting started section of the docs. The docs that literally just list the things that are available to you don't have structure because it's ultimately it's like Lego pieces. Like here are all the pieces and it's up to you to assemble them. So yeah, I get that that can be tricky, but I think it just comes with practice. I have been reading documentation for so long and I've done it so much that at this point, it's a lot easier for me to be just like dropped into a bunch of documentation and then try to figure out the right things that I need. And then I would also say like, don't discount search. Like you, you should absolutely use the search feature to find the specific things that you need. Yeah, I, I think the other thing, Tyrell, that you can try to work on is breaking things down into the, the small problems that need to be solved, because that, that's basically how you're going to take the documentation and apply it to the problem that you're trying to solve, right? Because like with the tutorial, they've already figured all of that out. They know what they want to do. They know what order they're going to do it in, and they know the pieces of the docs they need to show you in order to do that. But the person that wrote that video tutorial had to figure that out. And before they did that, they had to break down their problem into, all right, I know this is what I need to do here. This is what I, this is a small section of what I need to do here. And this is what I need to do here. Now, how do I do that? You figure it out like one step at a time. And each one of those things was probably sourced from like a small section of the docs. So yeah, I, honestly, I think my advice is is just read more docs. <laughs> like it's, I know it's not the advice you want to hear, but I, I do think it is some, it is a skill that you can learn that obviously like, I mean, the way you mention it here is like for someone's brain that doesn't work well with documentation, I, I completely understand that there are some people that it's really hard to take in like large blocks of text and stuff like that. But my advice is get used to it because that's really the only way that you're going to get past it and and really any people that are creating like basically fireship they essentially take the docs and boil it down to two minutes and 20 seconds like that's the skill that they've gotten really good at but that means that they had to get really good at reading the docs and really good at like basically take what the docs are saying and, and making it to like an applicable example so yeah hopefully that helps tyrell and, and i feel like it's, like it's the advice you don't want to hear but my advice is you just you just gotta you gotta power through it you have to read the docs break things down search the docs yeah, hopefully that helps. Yeah, and the more you do it, the easier it'll get. Absolutely. Yeah, plus, yeah, and I'm not discounting the entertainment factor. Like, he's good at memes. He's good at making jokes. But I, but I think it is it is a trap that a lot of people fall into. Like, they think they're learning, when in reality, they were just exposed to a thing. If they were to turn that video off and just try to go apply it immediately, 
you probably aren't going to be able to do that. You're you're still going to need the docs. You're still going to need more information and more practice to, to actually say that you learned a thing. That's been my advice a, a lot today is just do it. <laughs> but I, I feel like sometimes that's what people need to hear. <laughs> Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs>